What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here. Today I'm going to be showing you a build for taking on the infused Wasp Queen in New Game Plus. Uh, here we are outside of the Brawny Boy bin and I've got everything we're going to need in this chest right here. So let's see what we're using. As you can see, we've run the same set of armor and the same weapon as we did against the Mantis. We've got the bulky Fire Ant Helmet, the sleek Chest of the Mother Demon, and the sleek Ladybug Leggings, all level 9. Again, you don't need to run the Ladybug Leggings here. You could run something completely different like Assassin Leggings or Mother Demon. For this fight, I recommend medium or heavy armor, but light armor could be used as the Wasp Queen doesn't do as much damage as a lot of the other bosses. We have the Salt Morning Star. I've gone with level 10 here, as you should be far enough now into New Game Plus that you can at least level 1 weapon to level 10, and you are using this weapon against the Mantis and the Wasp Queen, so I've leveled it up one extra time. It's not too expensive, it's just 5 Fusion Crystals. Gone with the Ladybird Shield, since the Fire Ant Shield doesn't stack with the Fire Ant Armor, and the Infected Shield you probably won't have by this point. We've gone with a level 9 Spicy Staff, you'll see why we need this. We've gone with the Entomologist's Badge again, which means you can't parry during this fight, but you don't need to parry because of the build we're using anyways. In terms of consumables, we've got some Soothing Slop for healing, although you could replace this with Beefy Waspidotes if you wanted. We have some Sticky Soothing Syrup for healing over time, as well as the bandages, they both do passive healing. We have Wasp Waspidotes to cancel out the poison effect, and a Wasper Roll to give you poison resistance. We also have the BBQ Medley, you're obviously going to need that for summoning the Wasp Queen. Now before you go into this fight, I'm going to recommend you use the Petal Bed. You should really do this before every single boss fight, this is the best bed in the game. You're going to see we're going to sleep, it's going to pass a bit of time, that's irrelevant. We're not bothered about passing the time. What we're bothered about is that when we sleep, if I now open my inventory, we have the Comfy Defense buff, which increases your defense, and the Comfy Energy buff, which reduces your exhaustion time. So let's go ahead and equip all of this armor, as well as the badge, get the smoothies onto the hotbar, and get the meal on as well. And then it's also important what mutations are we running. We have Barbarian, this is going to increase the power of the club, which is our main weapon here. We have Cardiofan for stamina recovery. We have Spicy Safety and Mithridatism to increase our resistance to poison and the stabbing attacks dealt by the enemies in the fight. And then we have Will Wizard, which is going to be used to take out the adds with the Spicy Staff. Now it's important to note we're on medium difficulty here. We're going to have Bugs Ignore players be off, player damage be on, and creature health scaling on 1x. This will also work on Woe, although Woe is a lot harder on the Wasp Queen fight. You need to be a lot more prepared if that's what you're going to be going for. Make sure you hit up your buffs before you go in. Obviously, the head mount is more important there. You make sure you hit that for the increased damage. You should have it. Again, you're in New Game Plus. You should have beaten the Wasp Queen a few times before you get here so that you can then activate your buff going into this fight. Okay, here we are inside of the arena. Obviously, this is where you got the recipe. There'll be a badge here, but this badge is bugged. You can't get newer versions of it. Let's go ahead and let's start the boss fight. Let's pop our meal and everything should be good to go. We're also going to pop a smoothie just for a bit of extra healing. I already popped a bandage as well, so we're chilling. Right, you're going to start with the spicy staff here. Just get a couple of hits in. Um, she's not going to be low enough, at least initially, for you to actually be able to hit her. You just want to avoid her attacks and hit her with the spicy staff a few times. Um, she's going to do some shots. You're just going to block them with your shield. You can't parry because we're using the entomologist badge, but that's fine. You just need to make sure you manage your stamina and block the attacks. Uh, as you can see, she has a lot of HP. She is going to summon drones during this fight. She didn't do it that time for some reason. There was no summons there. Uh, I think we're too early into the fight right now for any summons. You want to watch when she falls out the sky that she doesn't hit you too hard. This one has fresh attack. I would try and get her to have fresh attack or life steal, or the defense uh, resist, although the defense one is going to be really annoying here because she already does have a lot of health. I would really avoid sour damage and um, spicy damage. Those are the two most dangerous for sure. When she does that shot out of a booty, you need to avoid that because it gives you a massive debuff to your healing. Five minutes later. At the end of the fight here, she is going to start summoning more and more. If you're on woe, this is where you get like some crazy, crazy summons. Um, and it becomes really difficult on woe, I'm going to be honest. It really does, but you're just going to have to try and deal with the summons. Why is my staff not shooting? What? Sometimes you just die to the most random things in the world. I think I got hit by a fresh debuff somehow, somewhere, at some point in that fight, and it just instantly killed me. Love that. Bombs. Okay, we can give bombs a try. Bombs will be interesting, to say the least. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's give it a go, shall we? Again, start the fight, just want to try and just get some spicy staff packs in while she's not low enough to kind of 
get any hits off on you. Because um, you can't reach her, so you might as well do some damage with the spicy stuff. Right, she's just doing a scream. That's fine. We just ignore that. She's too early into the fight to be able to summon right now. We wanted to drop out the sky like that. Uh, that does hurt, so you've got to watch out for that. Try and avoid it if you can, although a lot of the times it can't be avoided. You just kind of have to get hit and deal with it. But we're going to lay into it. You could have unequip your shield while she's on the ground like that, because you obviously don't need to block any attacks as long as there's no summons in the arena. Uh, that is one option that you could go with. Obviously, getting hit there wasn't ideal because we had an exhaustion recovery debuff. Um, but it is what it is. We'll just give it a chance to reset. Try and avoid these bombs. Those ones are really dangerous. You don't want to get hit by those. Those negative healing effects is really, really difficult. Makes the fight really hard. So we're just going to avoid all of these attacks. As you can see, she's already down to about half health. Here comes our first summons. Got to make sure we take those out as quickly as we can. There we go. The first set of wasps definitely have less health than the rest of the wasps during this fight, which is weird. All the other wasp summons she does are going to have way more HP. I don't know what's going on there, I'm going to be honest. Seems to be a bit of an issue. Right, we stunned her out the sky. We can unequip our shield while she's stunned. Okay, she's not stunned anymore. Re-equip the shield. Couldn't get the parry in there, but that's fine. We're just going to keep doing damage. We obviously have the entomologist badge on. We can't parry. It's actually not possible. So that's why we weren't able to get the parry in. Uh, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Ouch, we're getting... Hit by some attacks right here. We just got to play it safe. Be careful. There we go. They're gone. Easy peasy. Let's get rid of the shield for now. We don't need the shield. She's stuck on the ground on her own. We don't need the shield. Let's increase the damage output we have. Boom, boom, boom. Then she gets back up. Shield comes back out because we've got to be careful. Okay, she's just doing bombs. We're just going to have to try and avoid these as best as possible. Kind of easier said than done sometimes. If you do get hit by one of these, just pop a waspidote. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, seems like my cardio fan's kicking in well. It's recovering my stamina right before she's doing her attacks, which is really helping me here. Um, you know, you don't need to worry about your stamina in this fight as much as the Mantis fight. The Mantis fight's nowhere near as bad. Um, you really have to worry about stamina in that fight. It's actually a big issue. But in this fight, it seems like we're recovering just fine and uh, able to block most of the attacks. Here comes some more summons here. So we're going to just take down this wasp real quick. Obviously, the drone just screamed. We need to try and get rid of that ASAP. I'm just going to avoid her because she's going to try and drop on top of me. Get rid of that drone just like that. And now we focus on these guys. Uh, now, the wasp really isn't an issue. He's getting healed right now from the drone. So we're just going to ignore him. Um, he's really not, like, the focus of our attention. The focus is getting rid of the wasp queen. There we are poisoned right now, but that's going to go away. As you can see, she's getting really weak here. We haven't really got much to worry about. As long as we don't let the wasp queen hit us, that's what's important here. I've actually never seen an infused wasp or wasp drone in this fight, by the way. Uh, I'm sure you can get them in higher New Game Pluses or something, but I have yet to see them, especially on New Game Plus 1, and hopefully I never do see them because uh, they're very, very strong, let me tell you. Just got to make sure we try and avoid the Wasp Queen's attacks here. It's very important she doesn't hit me so that her effects don't proc. She actually hasn't hit me, like, all fight, pretty much. Um, but even if one of the bombs that she's using do hit me, then that's going to hurt. So try your best to avoid all of that. We do have the perfect parry debuff now as well. I guess I did get hit by her at some point, but we didn't get any explosives, so we're fine. As you can see, shield is almost full on that block meter, so we have to be careful here. She's actually doing a big attack, so I'm going to purposefully get stunned. For some reason, that didn't do anything on my shield. I don't know why that, that works like that, but that's got to be some sort of glitch. Um, that really should have stunned me, that attack right there. I don't know why it didn't. Okay, she's just dropped on top of me, which hurts a lot. We've got to get rid of the drone. As you can see, there goes the bomb, because she actually hit me. Um, we're just going to focus on taking her out. Don't worry about the wasp. The wasp will be gone soon. Right, now we're going to worry about the wasp, because the wasp queen's back to flying again. And she's 1 HP, and she's dead. Boom. Just like that. Easy peasy wasp queen fight. We had no issues whatsoever there. I did die when she did the fresh attacks earlier, but that was, you know, fresh attacks are unfair, okay? I It really slows you down. It actually slows down your parrying, I feel like, as well. It makes things really, really difficult. You basically just have to not get hit all fight. It's that simple. Uh, what does she drop here? We get the infused wasp queen ooze. You obviously want this if you want to craft some more of those fusion crystals. You get some regular ooze and all of her other parts, which I haven't analyzed in this world. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Hopefully this guide is helpful. Um, I do feel like, you know, this Wasp Queen guide is very similar to one I did for regular Wasp Queen. Uh, it's got very similar stuff, but 
I still think it's worth showing off to people now that it's the infused version to prove the build still does work and it's still very, very powerful. Uh, try and get her to have something that's very bad like bombs or uh, lifesteal. Damage resist is going to be a bit annoying with the wasp drone healing. I'd try and avoid that for this fight in particular. Uh, you could also go with the fresh attacks as long as you're careful. It's basically a case of try not to get hit as best as you can, uh, which is easier said than done, of course. Uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.